Hello and welcome to an explanation of the desmodromic valve system by Ducati. Over here we have a regular engine, not run on desmodromic valves, but it gives it a good idea of exactly how the valve system in a regular automotive sense works. Effectively you have your whole timing system which is going to spin these cam gears and that in turn spins the camshafts. These camshafts have these cam lobes on them which have that teardrop shape and all that's going to do is push down valves which are shown here uh, more or less depending on how far away the metal is from the center of the circle that's being spun. It's a very simple topic. So as the camshafts move the cam lobes are going to be spinning along and they're going to press down on a rocker and that rocker will then open up this lobe or rather valve here. Then when the lobe moves away the valve is returned with a valve spring. Uh, that effectively just closes the valve up again and the cycle can restart itself. However, there is one inherent problem with all of this. A spring can only move so fast. Even though they are industrial strength, even though they are extremely strong springs, they can only move so fast. And when you have a high enough RPM, especially in a motorcycle sense such as Ducati, you run into the issue of what's called valve float. And what valve float is, is look at it this way. The cam's moving in a circle, which means that it's going to go, it's going to press down this valve, it's going to unseat the valve, and then it's going to go away for a good amount of time, and in that time the valve spring will push it back up and it'll be sealed and that will be the end of it. Until, of course, the cam lobe comes back and restarts the cycle. However, if you're going at fast enough of an RPM, the cam lobe will return, will leave and return so quickly that the valve spring won't actually have enough time to catch up. That, of course, is a giant problem, because in an, in an interference style engine, the valves will still be open when the piston returns back upwards, and that will blow up your engine, which is awful. So, instead of using valve springs like in a regular car engine, Ducati came up with the desmodromic valve system. And the way that works is, rather than having one cam lobe and a valve spring, they have two cam lobes running in cooperation with one another. With one another. Therefore, you have your typical cam lobe here, which pushes the valve down via this rocker. However, when that gets pushed down, because of the way it's timed and because of the way the valves are adjusted and the way the cams are adjusted, there's this portion on this modified cam lobe here that gives this rocker space to move down, downwards here and therefore upwards over here. And what that actually does is it pushes it and keeps it along this cam profile with no problem, but that means that when this cam lobe moves away, in order for the valve to be moved back up, we have this elbow here, which pushes this rocker uh, back down, as it's shown in this picture, which pushes this portion of the rocker back up, seating the valve, and resealing the cylinder. This is genius, because now it eliminates the idea of valve float entirely, because there is no spring to keep up with, it's only metal on metal, and that's it. Unfortunately, this causes the valve adjustment on Ducatis to be extremely time-consuming and extremely expensive, but it's all at the cost of perfect engineering, wherein you don't need to worry about valve float, and you can simply tune the engine and have it rev freely.